welcome to our top four to your 11th immunity challenge. Whoa! We are very nearly the end, folks. We have made it. We've had planks. We've had wall sits. We've had spelling bees. We've had relay races and scavenger hunts and trivia and all of that. And you four made it here to the top four. Matthew, Zoe, Emily, and Brett. Congratulations. To celebrate how far you have all come, God. <laughs> tonight's challenge mm -hmm. is going to be a bit of a greatest hits. So, I love it's coming. there are going to be six rounds to tonight's challenge. Mm -hmm. Every contestant will start at the same time on the same challenge. And then you will all have to make your way through six challenges. The contestant who completes the sixth and final challenge first will gain immunity this week. Here are your challenges in the order that you must complete them. Number one will be a two minute wall sit while spelling a word. Whether or not you correctly spell your word, you will each be spelling one word. That will come into play a couple rounds later. So a two minute wall sit in which you will each be tasked with spelling one word. The second challenge after your wall sit is to transfer one cup of water into another cup using only a straw. The third challenge is going to be a jigsaw puzzle. The fourth challenge is 30 jumping jacks. This is where your spelling word comes into play. If during your wall sit you correctly spell your word, you will only have to do 15 jumping jacks. If you do not correctly spell your word, you will have to do 30. The fifth challenge will be a scavenger hunt. And then for the sixth and final challenge, it is our ever favorite slide puzzle. Oh, God. <laughs> all right. Are you all ready? Sure. <laughs> Let's just do it. This is our top four best of Survivor TTS 2020. I will count down from three. When I say go, you must begin your wall sit and I will begin administering your spelling words. And three, two, one, go. First word is for Emily Weems. Your word is isthmus. I-S-H-M-U-S. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Matthew, you're next. Your word is nomenclature. N-O, oh, nomenclature. N-O-M-E-N-C-L-A-T-U-R-E, -E. nomenclature. That is correct. Matthew, you only have to do 15 jumping jacks. Next up is Zoe. Zoe, your word is surveillance. S-U-R-V-E-I-L-L-A-N-C-E. -E. That is correct. You will only do 15 jumping jacks. And Brett, finally, your word is magnanimous. Magnanimous. M-A-G-N-A. Yes, magnanimous. I'm sorry, that is incorrect, Brett. You have 40 seconds remaining on your wall sit. Zoe and Matthew, when you get to the jumping jacks, you only have to do 15. Emily and Brett, you will be doing 30. All right, go! Transfer one cup of water into another cup using only a straw. All right, it's hard to tell who is, who is moving first. Oh, Matthew Schwartz, you have uh, completed. You can move on to the jigsaw puzzle. It is in the chat. Um. Brett,
Alright, Rose, you are completed. You may move on to the jigsaw puzzle. Uh, uh, yeah, Emily Weems and uh, Zoe. Yes, wait, uh, Zoe, where's your other empty cup? Oh, oh. Yes, you're good. Both move on to the jigsaw puzzle. Goddamn slow internet. <laughs> so our contestants are all working on a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, they suck. Oh, I can't no, there's see. actually a puzzle, a jigsaw puzzle shortage right now. There has been. No. Oh. Matthew Schwartz, you have completed your puzzle. You can Whoa. get down and do 15 jumping jacks. Impressive, Matthew. Okay. Yeah, for real. 9, 10, 11, 12, Alright, Matthew, go ahead. So, the scavenger hunt, it is in the chat. Okay, I got it. I, oh, wait. Shit. Remember the scavenger hunt. What they are going to be looking for is something alive, something edible, and a play by a female playwright. We have a female playwright. <laughs> what is the live thing? Georgia. Oh, you're alive. Duh, obviously. And, um, yeah, edible. Great. Matthew, Schwartz, go on ahead to the slide puzzle. Oh, my lord. <laughs> oh, you're good to go, Brett. God. Oh, my God. 30. Oh, oh, boy. Two, three. Four. Where are all the edge pieces? Yeah, I'm so bad at this. Me too, oh my God. Me too Zoe. <laughs> You're in the same boat. Three, nine, 30. All right, Brett, go on. The scavenger hunt. You are looking for something alive, something edible, and a play by a female playwright. We have oh Emily. God. Queen. And Zoe. What if I do? Jigsaw puzzle. Matthew <laughs> is on the final category, the final challenge, the slide puzzle, and Brett is currently working on the scavenger hunt. Oh, I did something so wrong. <gasps> Why are these not matching up? Oh, there we go. Aha, aha. Here's my play. It's a copy of Bodies by Vivian Fransman, a succulent, and a granola bar. Wait, can I just see that succulent real fast? I didn't see the actual plant. Excellent, you're good to go, Brett Rose. You can go on to the slide puzzle. Oh. Come on, Wi-Fi. <laughs> And do you see it? Do you see it? Excellent, Emily, you're good to go. Zoe, you're good to go. Thank you. Okay. One, two, three. So, oh. Five. Emily, you're doing 30, and Zoe, you're doing 15. Five, six, seven, eight, 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 you and Emily, that is where you are. That is where you are right now in your scavenger hunt. I have a plant. Okay, plant. That's something alive. Something edible and, and a play by a female playwright. We have roasted hummus. Delicious. Everyone can get behind roasted hummus. Oh, oh. A dance nation. Clear Baron, excellent. All right, you can move on to the last challenge, the slide puzzle. Emily Weems, it is in the chat. Okay. All right, Zoe, we have, it looks like a plant, something alive. Awesome. We have salsa, something edible, and a play by a female playwright. CrossFit. CrossFit. She wrote the martyrdom of whatever. Excellent, Zoe, you're good to go. You can move okay. on to the slide puzzle, the final challenge. All right, folks, this is another nail biter. We have all four contestants working on the final challenge. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ooh, I should have been practicing these. Oh, 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 it looks like Matthew Schwartz beat you by a hair, Brett. Wow. Oh, wait, 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 what's our scores? What's our scores? Ooh, ooh. I got 72 out of 100. 38. And I don't care. I was a second before you. I spelled my word right for a reason. Uh, I'm so sorry, Brett. It was about who finished first. Damn. That feels magnanimous. Whatever that <laughs> fucking means. <laughs> Woo! That was wild. Uh, Matthew Schwartz, congratulations. That was by the skin of your teeth. So that brings us to the end of the immunity challenge for our 11th immunity challenge. And that brings us to our next elimination, which will be happening right now. My God. I also have, have to ask, Matthew Schwartz, you have one immunity, which means you cannot be voted off tonight. We have also decided that we are going to give you the ability 
to offer an additional immunity to one of the other contestants before we vote. Oh, I'm gonna shit my pants. Now, all right. You have three choices in front of you. You have Emily Weems. You have Emily Weems, fellow BFA4 actor. You have Brett Rose, longtime Red Scare companion. And Zoe Soteris in the same boat with you since the beginning. I know this is a tough choice, Matthew Schwartz. And I'm going to give you a moment if you need it. Well, I guess I'll just say something. Um, obviously, after Wednesday, um, I feel I've been feeling very torn. I've been feeling like uh, kind of really shitty um, because I did guilt Zoe for literally playing the game, <laughs> which is funny of me to have done. Um, and uh, I. I don't want it to be worse than it already is um, for anyone. And I don't want this to feel like another nail in the coffin. Emily, um, BFA4, I have held this information back for as long as possible, but we were literally roommates sophomore year. So there's pretty much no one I know better than her. Brett, um, also another person I've known since the first week of school. And it feels kind of crazy to have this option. And obviously I'm stalling for drama. So, um, we, love it. we love it. I think that obviously I cannot live with myself if I did not make sure that Brett made it onto the next round. So Brett Rose, I give you my additional immunity. Thank you. All right, Matthew Schwartz has spoken. Matthew won our challenge tonight and he gained immunity and he has just given additional immunity to Brett Rose, which means neither Matthew nor Brett can be eliminated tonight. That means the only two contestants up for elimination tonight are Emily and Zoe. All right, y'all, it is time. It is time to set another contestant adrift. When I call your name, please private message me in the Zoom chat Name of the person that you feel deserves to be eliminated tonight. We're gonna to start off with Emily. Next is Matthew, then Zoe, and Brett. The votes are in. Tonight, we have our first unanimous vote of the season. Zoe Sateris, you have received all four votes in our elimination tonight. Oh, and I'm so sorry to tell you, you know what that means, which yeah. is you have been eliminated from Survivor TTS. It has been quite a wild ride, and I know that you would agree with that statement. Um, what do you have to say? What would you like to say to folks here still in the Zoom with you and those that are going to be watching this episode at home? Honestly, the only thing I have to say is I still feel guilty for what I did last time. That's my only regret of the season. I still just feel really bad about it. And I don't want that to be my survivor legacy because no. like, I, I really value, you know, kindness and friendship. And I feel like my legacy was backstabbing and that's not really what I wanted. So that's the only thing. Um, you know, I'm just happy that I got to make it this far <laughs> and, um, I love everybody in the game and I'm really happy that I made some friends. Um, and this was a blast. So I'm, thank, thanks, thanks guys. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Don't ever feel bad about playing the game the way it's supposed to be played. Also, yeah, you're <laughs> out of the four, out of the four of us, you're the kindest one here. I promise the rest mm -hmm. of the three of us, we're bitches. <laughs> no, no, but seriously, you can I wish you all the best of luck. No hard feelings. Love you all. Thank you, Zoe. Hey, Zoe. Zoe uh, no. And again, Zoe, for my part, uh, uh, your dad, I mean, that was iconic. Um, I'm so glad that you were able to introduce yeah. him to us. And you played an amazing game. Look, you really <laughs> did. I, I have to say, look, you're the last first year left. And I think that's yeah. a lot. You know, a lot of these folks in this game had established relationships, and those definitely played into the into the game. And you managed to uh, you managed to avoid that and make it to the top four. So, I am very proud of you. From one old man, MFA three, um, to 
little BB first year. <clears throat> Happy that you made it this far. Thank you I for playing you with us. So much. Thank you all. Thank you. And best of luck. Um, see you guys in the final thing. <laughs> Bye. All right, Zoe, you may now leave the Zoom. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. <sighs> that was gut wrenching. That was tough. I know Matthew and Brett, you had been with Zoe since the beginning, so I know that was difficult. Um, but hey, we are down to the final three, the top three in Survivor TTS. Congratulations, all three of you. You're all very uh, amazing competitors. I cannot wait to see how things shake out over the next couple weeks. For now, that brings us to the end of our 11th challenge and our 11th elimination on Survivor TTS. Until next time. What could we possibly have to plan? You guys are fucked up for this. So, you know, if you don't vote for me, it might be a hate crime. Anyway, there might be more to come. Tell me that is not epic. I'm glad I took my meds today. Let me just say that.